What's in the bag? What's in the bag? What's in the bag? You're gonna have to stay tuned to the end of the vlog. All right, what's going on, party people? So today is Dog Mom, Dog Mother's Day. What do we call Wait, it? I guess it's Dog Mom Day. Dog no, Mom no, it's Day. Mother's Day, but we're taking Ross out because he's the dog mom. Even though I'm pretty sure I'm the one taking you out. So today we're gonna go get some grub, get some brunch. We haven't done, we haven't really gone out to eat in like the last year, so we're pretty stoked about it. I think I'm gonna get a hamburger for breakfast. Why would you do that? No, nah, everything's changed now. You can do whatever you want. We're gonna go to the Amazon store. Uh, it's pretty cool to have like, it's like a brick and mortar store for Amazon, but they sometimes have like decent Lego deals. But all in all, should be a pretty good day. Stay tuned. Mo pack, mo problem. That's what I always say. It's true, I say it all the time, and when it gets really annoyed. Overpass. Make sure y'all call your moms on Mother's Day. You know what grinds my gears? I get really upset at the beginning of Star Wars, like the newer movies, they started saying a long, long time ago. But it always used to just be a long time ago. You ready for brunch? Dude, I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry, oh my gosh. This place is weird. It's like an artificial downtown. They just kind of put a whole bunch of apartments and shops that are really expensive. And uh, now just a bunch of like hipsters come here. It like felt fancy initially, but it's really just a bunch of bougie shops that are overpriced. But it's kind of fun to walk around. <laughs> Yeti. Yeah, it's, it says everything but water, but if you look over there, there's a water fountain. Doesn't make any sense. Story does not check out. Spotted a Ross in the wild. What are you doing? Well, check out these flowers, man. They look like the kind of flowers that look really cool, but then if you put your finger close to it, it like munch them off. So that's where we're going. Culinary dropout for brunch. So this is our first brunch in over a year. This is like super fun. Oh wow, it has been so long. Yeah, right? It's been <laughs> over a year, that's crazy. Plus we have the whole place to ourselves out here, so that's just awesome. But yeah, I'm excited to take Ross out for Mother's Day. <laughs> Dog mom over here. You know what they say, I like my coffee, like I like my women, and a giant cup. Ooh, passion fruit mimosa. You think they have like compassion fruits? Oh my so god. I could go for some compassion. <laughs> Oh my god, it tastes like a Jolly Rancher. What? It's so good. Here's up, I got a little bit on my shirt. I'm so sad about it. Oh no. I'm embarrassed. What did you get? I forgot, but it looks good. Man, are those apples? I don't even know what I ordered. Oh yeah. It wouldn't oh. be a vlog if we didn't break an egg yolk. So just a little um, progress update, I guess. We're still just like hanging out by ourselves out on this patio area. Like there's literally no one else around us. I don't, I don't know why. I think we're ugly or something. Like they just didn't like us. I don't know, but we're just having a great time. <laughs> this reminds me of that story of the ugly particle. Once upon a time, there was a particle that was so ugly that he was alone forever. How did the story go? No, that wasn't the story. How did it go? Oh, that everybody died. That was such a yummy brunch. What do you think, Ra? Oh, it was really good. Man. It was so yummy. The sculpture is really cool, but if it started raining, I'd be a little upset if I came here. All right, so we're gonna go to the Amazon bookstore. Um, it's funny, it all came full circle. Amazon killed brick and mortar bookstores, then they opened their own. Pretty, pretty crazy. Pretty wild. But yeah, sometimes they have Lego there, so we're gonna check that out. Do we have any Lego here? Oh, there's a dinosaur. Yeah, I have that creator, one. Cool. Awesome. Oh, there's another creator down there. The little Ooh, what is this? What is Lego? What is this? It's a New York Times best-selling series. At least there's some illustrations. Ooh, Star Wars. Duplo. This oh my gosh. Cool. This Plastic is everywhere. That was before Clutch Power. Friends. Hey, we have that set. Oh my gosh, we do have that set. That's so fun. Oh, did I see Rock Raiders? <gasps> What's your oh, favorite? Oh, it's the, the video game. Aw. Man, another version of the Flamingo Floaty. So the Amazon store did not really have too much for us in terms of Lego, but now we're gonna go check out Lush so that Ross can get his fancy soap. It looks like they're completely sold out of bath bombs and bubble bars. I want more bath bombs though. Uh, yeah, I guess we're done here. More flamingos. All right, so we're just leaving the parking lot now. Texas heat, man. So pretty stoked though. Got some good clothes. 
Had a good time shopping. It's been a long time since I've been out shopping. H&M Hall. Oh yeah, H&M Hall. <laughs> um, but I don't know, what do you think, Emily? Could we go home or you think maybe you want to go to Bricks and Minifigs? <gasps> Bricks and Minifigs? Yeah. I want to go to Bricks and Minifigs. Let's do it. Okay. Stayed about two hours longer than I normally like to stay here. We stayed what? here for a total of two hours. Back again, again, again. Guess who's back, back, back. Tell a friend, friend. <laughs> that is incredible. That's the first time I've ever seen him in person. Yep. Wow. Uh, I don't uh, mind if he sits there well, but he won't. No, he won't. <laughs> and all these AT-ATs. Are they all different ones? 2020, 2010. Two of the 2020s. Yeah. And then we have a motorized one that we're working on. No way. Wow, finally some Star Wars back. That's so cool. I know. Man. He's working on that ATT right now. Oh, yeah. He was showing me that. How did these end up doing? Good. We sold um, wow. a smattering of. They have the Goblin King's Dragon. We're definitely getting this. Oh. 35 bucks. Oh my gosh. Like the headpiece on this thing is so cool. Oh my gosh. They have the beach house. And now that I have a party boat and a Flamodi, by the way, shout out to the Flamodi. So cool. This would actually be a really good one to go with it. They definitely go together, like the little shack. It's like a mini version of this one. So. Maybe in the future, I'll pick that one up. If we ever get like a beach in our Lego city, that would be perfect. I have not seen these creator sets before. What year are these? 2008. Oh man. Oh my gosh, I didn't know this one existed either. The Park Street Townhouse. Oh, that's so cool. Perfect for Main Street. Oh my gosh, I love that. The long-term goal is to get a bunch of these Avengers Towers and just like do a giant one like Brixie has. I think that'd be awesome. Lots of brick heads here. Oh, Santa, that's cute. Tons of architecture stuff. These look so fun. Oh my gosh. Las Vegas, that'd be a really cool one to get. Oh man, Hero Factory. Isn't this like pretty old? When is this from? 2012, not too bad. We're also saying that these are really good for making mechs. So that's something to keep in mind. I don't think we're gonna get one, but pretty neat. Oh my gosh, what is this? That's kind of cool. Little flashlight, I think. And then a Joker clock really kind of terrifying. I don't I don't want that, but it's pretty cool. These Hulk Duplo figures look so cute. Oh my gosh. They're adorable. And then there's the brickheads form. Ooh, modulars. Oh man. It's unfortunate we already have these, otherwise we would be buying more modulars today. So I found this little poly bag of Edna Mode and it's only $6, so I'm definitely getting it. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, so we got back from the domain and all of our like weird Austin adventures. And um, by the way, this is still in the background here, just like Flamodi. I don't, I don't know what to do with it, but it's still there. Anyways, we got some awesome stuff from Bricks and Minifigs. I'm gonna show you what we got because I am just so excited about it. Anyways, okay, let me show you. Okay, so first I'm gonna show you this little Sonic minifigure here. Isn't that so cute? First of all, it's just adorable. Second of all, I didn't even know this existed. I did not know that this was like even a minifigure that existed in the world of Lego. So Ross saw this and he was like, wait, is this, is this like a real Sonic? Like, what is this? And they said yes, because it, it is real. Um, it came with the Lego Dimensions, I guess, a while back. And then I showed you guys this already, but we did end up buying this incredible two poly bag of Edna Mode. And this is set number 30615. It came back, it came out a while back. What year? 2018, okay, so it's not actually that long ago. I just wasn't in the Lego when this came out, so I did not know about it. But it's pretty cool, and it is actually different than the Disney CMF Series 2 Edna Mode, so. That's pretty awesome. I'm happy we found this. It was only $6. I feel like that's a good price, but I don't really know what it's worth. Okay, and finally we got this little dragon. This is from Lego Elves, and it's the Goblin King's dragon because he was green, and of course this dragon has to be green too because that's just like how elves works. Um, but this just looks so cool. It's really scary, and so let me just show you all the sides of it too. Those wing pieces are definitely my favorite part of it. Those are just like giant pieces, and I, I love it. Also the tail here, it's all opposable, so that's just really exciting, really, really cool. So you can bend it, and animating this would actually be really neat to do at some point, but that just sounds like a lot of work, so we probably won't ever do that. And also in its mouth, you see that little red spot. That's a tongue, because you know, of course the dragon needs a tongue. So we definitely got some goodies, and I'm excited. We got the dragon, Sonic, I got some H&M clothes, Clothes. That was good. Just like shopping for the first time in over a year was pretty, pretty bizarre. Very bizarre. How bizarre. 
it was pretty bizarre. So it was kind of nice just like stocking up on more clothes because I just haven't done that in a while. And then Sonic and everything. So yeah, we, we had a great day and I just like, I love my dragons. I think they're really cool. So anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. Please leave me a comment below. Tell me what you thought. What was your favorite part? Do you like our weird shenanigans in Austin? Please let me know everything in the comments. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, don't forget to do that. Hit that subscribe button below. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see y'all next time.